David Tepper, Warren Buffett, Jamie Dimon are not buying shares. As a matter of fact, they are selling shares. In, fa in fact, some of them are calling for sell instead. And there's a new BNB signal on the Dow. So all these details I'll share with you right now with three charts at the back. Now, before that result, disclaimer apply as usual. Now, one thing first, guys, this is the news in the market right now. Now, basically, we have the Citibank coming out and saying that the hedge funds are selling and they are accelerating the selling. Uh, recession coming in, apparently the CEO of the biggest US bank say it's possible in US, China and India. And of course, JP Morgan confirms that the hedge funds are remain the net sellers of the post-Federal Reserve meeting. So the question is this, if the hedge funds are selling, why the stock market is still going up? Well, there's only three answers to that. One, the mutual funds had to buy. Two, maybe Sorian fund are buying. Three, retailers like yourself or myself are buying too. The thing is this, I have stopped calling to buy since last week. And in fact, the last three days, I've been telling my friends around me to look for sell signal. And that's one coming in. So the thing is this, billionaires like Warren Buffett, David Tepper, Terry Smith are sending a very clear signal to the market. Now, it's not warning per se, but apparently, like example, David Tepper, he is his fund has posted a gross annualized return of 25 to 28% every year. Yes, 28% last 30 years stretch since the exemption from 1993. Now, this guy is famous. A lot of people follow his uh, portfolio to do a lot of investment. So if this guy, he's selling, then you need to be careful because he sold about 84% of their fund, of the 84% of the holdings of the uh, NVIDIA. All right. So that is something that you need to take note because a lot of people around me are all buying NVIDIA now and asking whether can we buy further and stuff like that. And also, we all know that Warren Buffett was a net seller of stocks. As a matter of fact, right, he has been selling for the seventh consecutive quarter. Now, why Warren Buffett is selling? Why Tapper is selling? Now, all this tells you that you need to be very careful, that's all. Now, of course, again, you may say that, but maybe they're selling for portfolio, for profit sharing. Well, it all is possible because we, they don't tell you the exact reason. But we do see the um, similarities when they sell, right? The stock market do react later. As a matter of fact, right now, the Schiller P that uh, ratio now is at a high of 35. Now, there were only like one or two incidents whereby it was at a high above 36. And of course, we want, we know that was here. Uh, let me just annotate this for you. This is where we have the dot-com crisis. And of course, this one we have is the, um, the during the COVID period, all right? And of course, yeah, the thing is this right now, we also have the Lehman Brothers crisis back then. So all this add together, right, to tell you that the market is kind of expensive right now. But of course, there are also good reason for that. Probably the internet has basically uh, changed the whole access to information. So everybody is more confident to take some risk. And also maybe the interest rate environment that was low for many, many years has given the investors the you know, confidence to buy into multiple growth counters. But again, all these has to take note because we all seen it before that eventually the market tip and they were selling after that. So one thing that I share with all my friends and students is that there is a few a chart that you need to watch out for in the market. And this is the BNB. All right. So let me go to the chart right now. Take a look. So just take a look, everyone. Okay. A BNB structure is out with something like this. And it's annotated by my, my system. And if you look at the high here itself, right? This high, if you basically push it up, it connects beautifully. And this is another BNB, right? So that's why you have the three, two, two shades of colors here. And the thing is this, which has just one more BNB that happened right yesterday. So which means that this is a trajectory of a trend. And the crazy and scary part that the downside here itself is about 2,700 points. Here, the downside itself is about 2,800 points. So the thing is this, if let's say we do a hypothesis, if the market at the high right now do pull back by, let's say, 2,000 points, where would that be? Oh, I'm going to take this chart away. I'm going to just push it a little bit to the side. So if the Dow Jones do pull back by 2,000 points, uh, where we are right now is at 42,370 is high, right? So 2,000 points should be able to bring it back down to here. And this would be the 5% level, okay? So... What I'm trying to say is that I believe that the market may come down to this point here, 
then maybe swivel a little bit before going back up again. That's before the US election. So one note number to take note for today, everyone, this is number 41,897, which means that this is a very important support level that the Dow must hold today. If the Dow can stay above 41,897, maybe I'm wrong. But if the Dow do stay well below this number, then the selling will come in. So everybody, you need to watch out for this number, 41,897. And of course, if you basically um, screen chart a little bit, you will see that the RSI is also giving you some signal. Okay, let me show you the next chart here. Now, if you look at this chart here itself, right, there's some identical here. Okay, let me just show you. Now, this chart is what happened back in 2021, whereby it's the same thing. We have the market movement, movement very nicely. And then the turning point was a BNB right here. Okay. All right. And remember, the market basically from May was surging all the way to December. Okay. All the way up. And then the thing is this, you notice the RSI, okay, actually got lower. That means that it was declining, it's divergence. So it seems that the market may have went up and went higher, but the divergence was there on the RSI. So now if you come to today's market, you will notice that we have the same thing, which means that we have the triple top in a way, but the RSI is getting lower. So there is a divergence in the market right now. So I believe that if the market do pull back, there will be a pull back to somewhere around here. And then maybe you go out again. It is possible. Now, of course, if the market go drastic, then of course the selling can bring it down all the way to this point here, which is going to be a very good level to buy before the US election. Okay. So there are two levels to watch out for. Uh, I'll cover this more if this thing really manifests. All right. So this is very important for you as a trader. And of course, for today, uh, well, we can see right now at the moment, the boys are still buying. Okay, the retailers are definitely buying. So all I can say is that today, watch out for 41,932. This is today's market using my, my crazy system. If the market can stay above 41,932 for today, then fine. The market is still going to be buoyant of the buying side. But if the market do break this number in the afternoon session, then guys, the first wave can bring it down to 41,000. 511 because that's a short term and may 30. Okay. So traders, watch out for all these numbers. This is Cal signing off. Hope you enjoy this video. Mm, bye bye.